<laughs> yeah, I got stuck on the stump. Uh oh. And I got herring in there. Uh oh. There we go. Oh. San Francisco is one of the last remaining urban areas where Pacific herring come in and spawn. These are awesome fish to catch for both eating as well as bait fish for halibut, salmon, crabs, anything you guys can think of. Come join me to learn how to catch them. So the first thing is you want to make sure that your net spreads out as wide as possible. And that is mainly due to patience in coiling everything properly and making sure that there are no tangles. And then once your net reaches the bottom, you're going to feel a slack line and you're going to pull up and look at that, a beautiful net of herring. In California, you're allowed to have 10 gallons worth of herring. And so just uh, basically so one of the other keys to herring hunting is uh, having a good network. So there are local Facebook groups um, as well as chat groups that are formed to find these herring. And I want to give a big shout out to Becky, uh, who's part of the uh, NorCal Herring Reports. She mentioned that she saw a lot of birds uh, in this area. And lo and behold, you can see there are tons of herring that are spawning in this area so make sure that you join one of these groups if you want to find out where the next herring spawn is and there's also a uh, really popular blog website by the Los anchovy i'll put it in the link in the description below so that you guys can go ahead and look at the herring spawn reports on his blog one big one Oh, oh! Let's go, big pancake, man. This <laughs> All right, make sure you bookmark this. So I recommend bringing two nets, one for a backup. You're most likely going to get stuck or uh, you're going to have your net ripped by a seal. So bring an extra one. Number two, join Facebook groups uh, on Herring Reports. Also check out TLA's blog. I'll put it in the description below. Number three, be nice to each other. Um, it's a great time, but it also gets hectic, so just be patient with each other. Take time setting up your net. Make sure you coil it properly so it extends and pancakes so you get as many herring as possible. Seals and cormorants, especially diving ones, are a great sign that a herring spawn is on. Of course, there's going to be milky water as well. And Or the last one is... Be careful of underwater rocks and stumps. Cast where other people are casting as kind of the safe bet. And learn how to cast a net at the end. Alright, got a few. I just loaded my kayak back up the door and walked out here. Luckily you were walking home, but otherwise oh, probably you think yeah. that's fun. You walked out here and out towards that post. Yeah. It's light. I just want to fill up my dude. That'll be top off my eye tip a little bit. Yeah. So a couple of other tips I have for you is be careful where you cast. Uh, there's usually some underwater pilings that you don't see and you'll most likely get your net stuck. And you'll see actually near the end of the video I do um, have to break one of my nets because it did get stuck on a piling. Uh, the other thing I would say is look at where other people are casting. Wherever they're casting, that's usually the safe bet. 
So here I switched over to a uh, cloth. There we go. Type Finally net. got some. Um, I wanted to give a chance hey, to be right next to me. Yeah. Um, so that he Not could try bad. The net. And with this cloth net, it's kind of like throwing the power to the six spots. Yeah, man. And so the fish can Your get arm's going to be sore, um, tired. It's not recommended. Hell yeah. More so, yeah. I would say it's the uh, monofilament that can cut through the water. It's a uh, two, uh, and therefore two five gallon buckets, so ten gallons. So two of these. Yeah. Uh, oh, Got caught. Got caught. That sucks. Come on. All right, there we go. That was sketchy, man. Sketch. So here I switch back to the monofilament, and of course it sinks faster, so it gets more fish. Weather like machine. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, just had to switch. Almost done. Just. So here I'm just tying my line to the post so that I don't need to recoil my line all the time and waste more time. This is a pro tip uh, by Evan. I'm trying to go home. Pancake, pancake. <laughs> Just watch out, there's a hidden stump in front of this uh, pillar. Quite a Yeah, I got stuck on the stump. Uh -oh. And I got herring in there. Uh -oh. <sighs> Come on. Oh. This one's done.
So you're gonna wrap this around your wrist and then you're gonna rope it up like that, you know, just like your uh, extension cord. You're gonna go like that and then So now I got it like an extension cord like here and grab the top. Are you a righty or lefty? Righty. Righty, all right. So on my right hand. Now this is a, a big net. Right. So you're gonna need to fold it on itself one more time. Like that. Yeah. Then it's gonna be like a curtain. You just grab one of the weights. You open up the, the skirt. Left hand like that. And then you just twist and, and throw it. 